When people think of macOS, they usually imagine a clean dock at the bottom of the screen, smooth animations, soft shadows, elegant icons, and an overall feeling that the operating system stays out of your way while still looking premium. Over the years, Linux developers and theming communities have become incredibly good at recreating not just the visual style of macOS, but also the workflow and overall feel of Apple's desktop experience. In 2025, this has reached a point where many Linux distributions can genuinely fool someone at first glance, and even long-time macOS users can feel surprisingly at home. In this video, we are diving deep into the top 10 Linux distributions that look and feel almost exactly like macOS, not just on the surface, but in day-to-day -day usage, animations, app layout, and overall polish. Let's start with elementary OS, which for many people is the first Linux distribution that comes to mind when talking about Mac OS like design. Elementary OS has always been heavily inspired by Apple's philosophy of simplicity, consistency, and visual restraint. In 2025, elementary OS feels more refined than ever. The Pantheon desktop environment focuses on a clean top panel, a centered dock, and a minimal approach to system settings. Everything from the typography to the spacing between UI elements feels intentional. The dock behaves very much like the Mac OS dock, complete with smooth animations, intelligent app grouping, and subtle indicators. The system apps such as files, music, videos, and system settings are designed with a unified look that strongly echoes Apple's human interface guidelines. What really makes elementary OS feel like Mac OS is not just how it looks, but how it encourages similar habits. You manage apps through a curated app center. You get system-wide gestures on trackpads, and the OS strongly prefers native apps that blend perfectly with the desktop. For users who want a Mac OS-like experience without spending time tweaking themes and extensions, Elementary OS remains one of the strongest choices in 2025. Next up is Zorin OS, which has built its reputation on being flexible and user-friendly while offering a polished Mac OS-inspired layout right out of the box. Zorin OS in 2025 offers a Mac OZ style layout option that places a dock at the bottom, a global menu-like top bar, and a clean desktop aesthetic that feels immediately familiar to Mac users. What sets Zorin OS apart is how approachable it is for newcomers. The Zorin Appearance tool lets you switch between layouts effortlessly, but the Mac OAC style layout is one of the most popular for a reason. The icons, window controls, and animations all feel carefully tuned to give that Apple-like smoothness. Under the hood, Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu LTS, which means you get excellent hardware support and long-term stability, something macOS users often value. In daily use, Zorin OS feels calm and predictable, with minimal visual noise, making it an excellent choice for people transitioning from macOS to Linux in 2025. Another standout is Deep in Linux which arguably offers one of the most visually impressive desktops in the Linux world. The Deepin desktop environment has always been known for its stunning visuals, and in 2025 it feels closer to macOS than ever. The dock is glossy, animated, and responsive, with a level of polish that rivals Apple's own animations. Window transitions are smooth, system settings are beautifully laid out, and even small details like volume sliders and notification pop-ups feel premium. Deepin's control center slides out from the side in a way that feels very similar to Mac OS's system settings redesign. For users who prioritize aesthetics and want their Linux desktop to look like a modern Mac right after installation, Deepin is incredibly compelling. While some users may have concerns about its origins, purely from a design and user experience perspective, Deepin Linux in 2025 is one of the closest visual matches to Mac OS you can find. Cutefish OS also deserves a place on this list, especially for users who appreciate minimalism and consistency. Cutefish OS is clearly inspired by Mac OS, not just visually, but conceptually. The desktop layout, dock placement, system tray behavior, and overall design language feel very Apple-like. In 2025, Cutefish OS has matured significantly, offering better performance, improved stability, and a more complete set of native applications. The System Settings app is clean and icon-driven, much like Mac OS, and the File Manager uses a layout that feels instantly familiar to Mac users. Cutefish OS is particularly appealing to users who want a Mac OS feel without the heavier resource usage of some other visually rich desktops. It runs well on modest hardware while still delivering that sleek, modern aesthetic. 
Now let's talk about Ubuntu with a Mac OS style customization, which in 2025 has become incredibly popular thanks to improved GNOME extensions and theming tools. Out of the box, Ubuntu does not look like Mac OS, but with the right dock placement, global menu extensions, icon themes, and window controls, it can be transformed into a near-perfect Mac OS clone. Many creators and developers share complete Mac OS-like Ubuntu setups that include a bottom dock, top bar with system indicators, spotlight-style search, and even Mac OS-inspired wallpapers. The reason Ubuntu makes this list is because of how smooth and stable this experience has become in 2025. GNOME animations are fluid, trackpad gestures are excellent, and app compatibility is outstanding. For users who want a Mac OS like look, but also want the massive ecosystem and community support that Ubuntu offers, this approach is extremely appealing. Another excellent option is Linux Mint with a Mac OS theme, particularly using the Cinnamon desktop. Linux Mint itself is known for stability and ease of use, and when paired with a well-designed Mac OS theme, it can feel surprisingly close to Apple's desktop experience. In 2025, Cinnamon has become more polished, with smoother animations and better scaling on high-resolution displays. With a bottom dock, a top panel, and a carefully chosen icon and window theme, Linux Mint can deliver that Mac OS vibe while remaining fast and lightweight. What many users love about this setup is that it combines the familiarity of Mac OS with the practicality of Linux Mint's tools, such as its update manager and system settings. For people who want a Mac-like look but prefer a more traditional and stable Linux base, this is a strong choice. ParOS has an interesting history, and in recent years it has made a comeback in various forms. In 2025, Paro's inspired distributions and spins are once again popular among users who want a macOS clone. ParOS was originally designed to look almost identical to macOS, and modern versions continue that tradition with refined themes, docks, and system sounds. The desktop layout, icons, and even default wallpapers are clearly inspired by Apple. While ParOS itself may not be as mainstream as some other options, it remains a fascinating choice for users who want that nostalgic Mac OS feel combined with modern Linux performance. Another distro that fits perfectly into this category is Fedora with a Mac OS style GNOME setup. Fedora is often associated with cutting edge technology and a clean GNOME experience. And in 2025, it shines when customized to resemble Mac OS. Fedora's GNOME implementation is incredibly smooth. And when paired with the right extensions, it delivers an experience that feels both modern and elegant. The advantage of Fedora is that you get very recent software, excellent Wayland support, and top-tier performance, all wrapped in a desktop that can look strikingly similar to Mac OS. For developers and power users who love Mac OS aesthetics but want the latest Linux technologies, Fedora is an excellent choice. KDE Neon configured with a Mac OS-like theme also deserves recognition. Tidy Plasma in 2025 is one of the most flexible and visually advanced desktop environments available. With the right theme, dock, and window decoration, KDE Plasma can replicate Mac OS extremely well. The dock can be placed at the bottom with Mac OS style animations. The top panel can be configured to resemble the Mac OS menu bar, and system settings can be streamlined for a cleaner look. What makes KDE Neon special is that it delivers the latest KDE features directly from the developers, ensuring that the experience feels modern and responsive. For users who enjoy customization and want to fine-tune every detail of their Mac OS-like Linux desktop, KDE Neon is a playground of possibilities. Finally, let's talk about Arch Linux with a Mac OS-inspired setup. While Arch Linux is not a distribution for beginners, it deserves a place on this list because of how convincingly it can mimic Mac OS in the hands of an experienced user. In 2025, many Arch users build stunning Mac OS like desktops using window managers or lightweight desktops combined with docs, custom themes, and carefully selected applications. For enthusiasts who want the ultimate Mac OS like Linux experience and are willing to invest time into customization, Arch Linux remains unmatched. As we move further into 2025, it's clear that the gap between Mac OS and Linux in terms of visual polish has narrowed significantly. These 10 Linux distributions and setups prove that you no longer have to choose between beauty and freedom. Whether you want something that looks like Mac OS right after installation or a system you can customize into a perfect Apple-like clone, Linux offers more options than ever before. 
The beauty of this is that you get the familiar look and feel of Mac OS, combined with the power, flexibility, and openness of Linux. For many users, that combination is simply unbeatable, and it's exciting to see just how far Linux desktops have come.